Hi guys, my name is Gunnar James Scott and welcome to a walkthrough of a new quest available in Sims Free Play, the Inner Child's Play quest. This quest comes with the new Kids Party update and when you update your game you will just get this pop up. There is a time limit of 7 days for this quest. Your Sims long lost friend Crystal has reached out for some help with her son's birthday party. Is your Sim up for the challenge of contending with some crazy kids? We sure are, let's go ahead and get started with it. So the prize for this is completing it within the seven days, you will unlock the kids treehouse, which is perfect for your preteens to play in. And apparently adults can use this too. I'm not sure how they can use it, but apparently they can use it too. The first thing we need to do is to send Sim to the park. Your Sim has received a text from their dear friend Crystal. She wants to meet your Sim in the park. It's hard to keep up with your friends, especially one who has a crazy son like Dylan. Send your sim to the park to catch up with Crystal. So if we go out onto the town map and then click over on the park, and then we need to go into the sim tracker and whistle over a sim. So let's click, let's get Ruby over to do this quest. The next thing we need to do is to talk with Crystal. Your sim arrives to the park. Crystal is looking a little flustered. What could be the matter? Have your sim greet Crystal and find out what's wrong. So let's take a little look around the park. Where is... Oh, here she is. Here's Crystal. She don't look flustered to me. We need to greet her for 30 seconds. They're having a good old little mum chat there, aren't they? They're almost finished. And there we go. We have finished talking to her. We need to think about party. Your sim talks to Crystal. She tells them about Dylan's upcoming 10th birthday party. However, she is flying solo. Can your sim help her keep an eye on the kids? Kids? Wow, that's a huge responsibility. Your sim's track record with goldfish is not great. Can they do it? Your sim th needs to think it through. Sit on a park bench and think. So if we go over... Oh, we'll use this park bench here. We need to think about the party for 4 minutes and 30 seconds. I'm sure we can do this. Now we need to consult with Thinking Man. Your sim ponders on the bench. Kids can wreak havoc if your back is turned for a second. What to do, what to do. Where is a tall, stoic, non-judgmental person when they are needed? Hang on, perhaps a Thinking Man statue can help. The Thinking Man statue is over here in the park and consult about the party for 15 minutes. We've finished consulting with the Thinking Man. Now we need to go back and talk with Crystal. Although the signs are ambiguous, your sim believes the Thinking Man has faith in them. They can do it. Better give Crystal the good news. So let's go back to Crystal and agree to help for one hour and 15 minutes. We've finished chatting with Crystal. Now we need to go home. Your sim gives Crystal the good news. They will help out with Dylan's birthday party. Not long until the party starts. Time to go home and get your sim ready. Send your sim home. So into the sim tracker and where Ruby is, let's send her home. Your sim arrives home. Now, what to wear? Have your sim use a wardrobe and change into some party clothes. So you can use a wardrobe or some drawers for this. Just click on them and browse clothes. And let's get Ruby ready for this party. Let's find her a nice little outfit that she can wear. For a kid's party though, isn't it? So we don't want to go too crazy. There we go. I think she looks lovely for a kid's party. So accept those changes. And we have completed that task. Now we need to go to Crystal's house. Looking sharp. That outfit is guaranteed to impress Crystal and the kids. Time to phone a cab to go to Crystal's house and start helping her prepare for Dylan's birthday. Have your sim call a cab using a phone. If you haven't got a phone, if you go into the home store and into the electronic section, you can buy phones here. And once you have a phone, just click on it and go to Crystal's house. Over at Crystal's house, we need to talk to her. Your sim nervously arrives at Crystal's house. No backing out now. It's showtime. Find out how your sim can help Crystal out. Oh my goodness, look in the, this house. <gasps> These are things that we are going to win in the... Right, hang on. Let's just click on Crystal and help discuss help for one hour and 15 minutes. 
Look at all of this. It's so amazing. Aha! Oh my goodness, I can't wait to receive all of these items. When we take part in a live event that's coming up, we're going to be able to win these items. We've finished talking to Crystal. We now need to greet the kids. Your sim talks to Crystal. She seems surprisingly calm and under control. Dylan and his friends are busy playing. Crystal suggests your sim introduces themselves. So we'll go over. Look at the kids. They're having a ball. Let's click on and greet kids. Four hours and 35 minutes. I'm honestly, I can't really concentrate on the quest. I'm honestly so looking forward to getting these items. And making like a little kids party in my town. Oh, it's going to be so amazing. We have finished greeting the kids. Now we need to go and talk to Crystal again. Whew. Your sim survived meeting the kids. They don't appear to be too bad. Crystal seems to be pacing. Wonder what could be wrong. Let's go and find her. Where's she gone? Oh, here she is. Discuss a problem. Okay, she got two hours and 15 minutes on discussing the problem. We finished our chat with Crystal. Now we need to agree to help. Your sim talks to Crystal who explains that she just had a phone call from her boss. She's required to attend a seminar on time management. Now, on a weekend, Crystal pleads with your sim to look after the party while she's gone. Of course your sim will help. Okay, let's, yep, yeah, agree to help. One hour, 15 minutes. No problem at all, Crystal. We don't mind. Now we need to prepare for our party, party food? Party food. Your sim agrees to help Crystal, who is extremely thankful. How is your sim going to entertain the kids? Food. Party food. Your sim better get some party food ready. Quick, smart. So we need to go to the oven in Crystal's house. There is an exclamation mark if you're struggling with where to go. Prepare part. I keep wanting to say party food. Prepare party food for two hours. We've finished that. Eat the party food. Of course, that's next. Mmm, that food smells great. Like seagulls to fries, the kids head straight to the table. Now is a good chance to join them. Have your sim join the kids eating party food. Everyone's at the table. No, people aren't at the table as yet. Right, sit. No, not sit and eat. We want to eat party food for four minutes. Is everyone going to come? Everyone is coming. I have got my preteens over here as well so I'm going to get them to come and sit and eat and join in the party she's like having a ball over here on the karaoke machine everyone can sit and eat oh look whoa I thought she was being sick but she was blowing her like a woo what are they th those things called I don't know that you have at a party they never work when I have that had them we've finished eating the party food now we need to call party troopers your sim feels overwhelmed being the only adult in a house full of wall climbing kids. How about a kid's entertainer? Crystal left a number for Party Troopers Entertainment Agency. Use a phone to call Party Troopers. So they must have, yeah, they've got a phone in this house. Click on it and call Party Troopers is 3 hours and 30 minutes. Your sim calls Party Troopers. The only person available is a fabled witch and magician, Barbara Yaga. As soon as your sim hangs up the phone, she appears at the house. That was quick. Better bring her up to speed. Greet Barbara Yaga. Okay, let's go and greet her. Ooh. And greet for three hours and 20 minutes. Your sim explains Dylan's party situation to Barbara, but she refuses to entertain the young sims. This is beneath her. Party troopers promise her a 5,000 seat theatre, not a kid's party. Now what will your sim do? If only your sim could relate to children better. Have your sim beg Barbara Yaga to help them relate to kids better. Okay, so, oh look, she's coming to the party though. Oh, she's eating the food. How dare she eat the food, but do you won't entertain? Oh, hang on, that's the wrong sim. Where's our adult sim gone? Oh, here she is. She's gone upstairs. Let's click on her and beg for help for 8 hours and 20 minutes. I think the party might be over in 8 hours and 20 minutes. But okay, we'll beg for help. We have begged Barbara for help. And now we need to look at self in mirror. Your sim begs Barbara Yaga to help, offering her as much party food as she likes. 
food is her weakness. Barbara waved her orb, casting a spell. Your sim somehow feels younger. Have they been turned into a child? Your sim better check. Have your sim look at themselves in the mirror in Crystal's house. So let's go over to the bathroom here and look at self for two hours. We haven't been turned. We look exactly the same. Your sim checks their reflection. They look the same. However, they are definitely thinking more like a child. Time to make the most of the spell. Have your sim be silly with the kids. So let's... She's running upstairs. Let's select her again and click on one of the kids and be silly for 5 hours and 25 minutes. I kind of want to see this interaction. So all the kids have lined up here by the door. And ah, oh, <laughs> they're having a ball. These, by the way, clothes that the kids have on. We will be able to get these clothes in the mystery boxes that you can get from your weekly quests you'll be able to unlock these clothes with keys and that is coming soon so make sure you're doing your weekly quests and earning a key every week because i think that they are definitely going to be starting to use that we've already used it in the last couple of weeks for the villa furniture and they're now using it again so you definitely want to be saving up and doing your weekly quests and getting those keys scream out some tunes your sim monkeys around in front of the kids. Dylan and his friends find your sim's behaviour hilarious and want more crazy antics. Crystal organised a karaoke machine for the party. Your sim has a great idea. Why sing when you can scream? So let's use the karaoke machine and scream some tunes for 2 hours and 40 minutes. Exactly, why sing when you can scream? <laughs> she is going for it. Now we need to discuss Pinata with Dylan. Your sim hits the key of nails down a blackboard. That didn't go down as well as expected. Your sim needs a new activity for the kids. The ice cream pinata hanging in the backyard. That would be fun. So let's go and speak to Dylan. Here's Dylan. Discuss for six hours and 15 minutes. Now we need to whack the piñata. Your sim gets the kids excited about hitting the piñata. This is going to be great fun for your sim. Have your sim whack the piñata hard. Let's click on and whack hard for eight hours. Let's see this. Oh, she gets out a little stick. <laughs> Covers her eyes. Oh, yay. Oh, she's so excited for that. Are the kids going to be allowed to join in or... Oh, we just do oh no Dylan is just wandering off maybe we should have got him to join in as well oh he's like not happy look he's just facing the wall like this is a rubbish Marty we finished whacking the pinata now we need to collect candy your sim takes a hard swing at the pinata and smashes it lots of candy falls from it yum all that candy for your sim have your sim collect all the candy. I have a feeling that's two hours to collect the candy. I have a feeling our sim is ruining the party for the kids here. Your sim greedily collects all the candy for themselves. All that sugar has made your sim hungry for more of the party food. It's looking mighty tempting on that party table. Your sim thinks that the less junk food there is for the kids, the better. Have your sim eat more party food. So let's go over to the table and eat party food for 4 hours and 30 minutes. Your sim gorges themselves on all of the party food. Oh no, Dylan starts crying. Perhaps your sim has gone too far. Go comfort Dylan. Oh, go comfort him for 2 hours and 15 minutes. Poor Dylan, crying at his own birthday party. Your sim comforts Dylan. Perhaps having the mind of a child is not the best way to host a kid's party. If only they were back to normal again. What can your sim do? Barbara Yaga looks like she's asleep on the couch from overeating. Have your sim try to wake her up. Yes, she is. She's dozing away here on the sofa. So let's click and wake for 4 hours and 35 minutes. Wake up. Oh, look. <laughs> she's got like a megaphone. Wake up. Barbara continues to snore heavily in her food coma. Apparently volume is not the answer. 
How can your sim wake up the witch? There must be something in the house that they can use. Have your sim find the correct object to wake Barbara Yaga. Okay, so find the correct object. So there's a few different objects here that we can click on with exclamation marks. I guess what we have to do is just click on them and see which is the one. So eat loud at the table is one hour. Oh no, the item you chose was incorrect. Okay, so it's not the table. Let's try over here. I wonder whether, oh, use watering can, one hour. Oh, and there we go, that was the right object. So it was the watering can was the object that you needed to go and use. Now we need to reason with Barbara. Your sim chooses the watering can and pours water on Barbara. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Who jumps up in shock. Problem partially solved. However, she is furious and threatens to turn your sim into a frog. What can your sim try to do now? Time to try and reason with Barbara. So let's find Barbara. Oh, she just stole a present. Did you see that? Let's click on her and reason with for 2 hours 15. Stop stealing the presents. She's just standing there pinching the presents. Your sim pleads with Barbara to see reason in their actions. It seems as though she understands, however is still displeased. Perhaps now that she is calm, Barbara might help return your sim to their adult mind. We need to beg. So where has she gone? Here she is. And beg for help for 4 hours and 10 minutes. Hopefully she will help us. We've finished begging for help. Now we need to read a cookbook. With a hesitant sigh, Barbara once again waves her orb over your sim and restores their mind to adulthood. Your sim feels immense adult guilt over ruining Dylan's birthday party. What could they do to possibly make it up to him? Wait, Dylan still needs his birthday cake. A cookbook will help. Have your sim read best birthday cakes from the bookshelf. So the bookshelf is over here. Click on it and read best birthday cakes is three hours. We've read that cookbook. Now we need to bake the cake. Your sim reads best birthday cakes. Wow. They think they have found the most amazing cake. Dylan is sure in for a treat. Have your sim use the oven. So let's click on the oven and bake his cake for five hours. I'm looking forward to see in this cake, hopefully it's amazing. Your sim prepares and bakes the cake, or so they thought. It looks like the oven wasn't turned on in all the rush, oh my goodness. Your sim can hear the kids getting restless. Knowing that she has a sweet tooth, perhaps your sim can ask one last favour from Barbara. Have your sim ask Barbara to create the cake. So that was a waste of time. Create the cake for 15 minutes, please, Barbara. Hopefully she will help us out. Your sim begs once more for Barbara's help, promising a big piece of cake. She waves her orb one more time and a cake and table appears. Now that's impressive. One might say photogenic. Have your sim photograph Barbara's culinary creation. Oh, so here's our cake. Right, let's click and we need to photograph it for 7 hours and 44 minutes. Let's have a little look now that thing. Oh, it's like an ice cream, right? Like a melted ice cream on top. Here she comes. Let's take some pictures. Okay, enough flash photography. Time to eat some of Dylan's delicious cake. Eat a piece of Dylan's cake. So let's click on and eat his cake for 6 hours and 30 minutes. Hopefully everyone, oh yeah, everyone is rushing over to get a slice of cake. Your sim enjoys the cake. It tastes amazing. How can your sim crank the party up to 11? Why not celebrate by singing happy birthday? Okay, so we need to go to the karaoke machine. And click on the karaoke machine and sing happy birthday, 8 hours, 12 minutes. Is everyone going to gather around? Hopefully, yeah, they are. We have sang happy birthday to Dylan. Now we need to clean up the mess. What a party. It was almost a flop, but we're saved at the 11th hour. Crystal should be home soon, but there is a lot of mess in the house. Kids will be kids, big and small. Have your sim clean up the mess. So yeah, let's get going and clean up this mess. Five hours and 15 minutes. 
The mess is all cleaned up. Now we need to say goodbye. Just as your sim clears the last bag of rubbish, Crystal walks through the door. That's your cue to leave. Say goodbye to Crystal. Good timing on that, Crystal. <laughs> so let's click Crystal and say goodbye. 14 hours and 15 minutes. These goodbyes at the end of quests are always very long, right? We've said goodbye, now we need to send all our sims home. Your sim laughs with Crystal over their childlike drama and says goodbye. Despite almost having a party disaster, your sim pulled it together. From returning to childhood to cranky witches, your sim has had a stressful party. It is time to go home. Send all of your sims home. So this is the last we are gonna see of this house now. We're gonna send all our sims home and we won't be able to return to this house until we we win it in an upcoming event depending on your time zone on either the 30th of April or the 1st of May there is a live event that's going to come out where the grand prize for it if you unlock all of the other prizes the grand prize is going to be this house template that you'll be able to build on a standard lot like this one or you'll be able to build on a premium lot and the two houses are quite different there is various different items in the premium size of this house than there is on the standard one so yeah definitely we want to be or personally i want to be winning this as a house template i really like the house i think there's a lot of items in there that we have gotten from various different events and it has got quite a few sort of lp and sp items that i definitely want to get hold of so let's go into the sim tracker we'll say bye to the house so anyone who has got the go home button on them that's everyone that was over at this house and they will just leave the house and once they have all left that should be quest complete i think everyone has gone a task complete and you can see at the bottom that 100 percent that is quest complete congratulations your sim has won the kids tree house find it in the outdoor decorations tab in the home store and place it in a home lot now so excited for this tree house i have come over to a lot where i know i've got lots of outdoor space and then if you go into the outdoor decorations kids tree house so the first one is free and oh it is quite large so it's what six by five is it six by five and then after that oh they are 60 lp after the first one <gasps> should have known it was going to be expensive but oh my goodness i love it let's bring over some people to try it so we'll see how the different ages can interact with it. So this is a preteen. We can play alone or wait for playmate. And then if we have another preteen, we can join in for four minutes. Oh my goodness. Look at him just sitting there waiting. That's so adorable. This is so cool. Oh my goodness, there's like a rope, swing, slide, whatever they're called, at the back. Oh, so cool. That's amazing. I wish that they wasn't quite expensive to add like more than one, but that is amazing. Let's see. Apparently adults can interact with this as well. Oh, we can relax with an adult. Relax for four minutes. Do they just go and like hide in the kids' tree house at the bottom of the garden when they've had enough of life? <laughs> Oh, look. Sitting and reading up there. And then can a kid... Oh, so a kid can't join in if there's an adult. Let's bring over a teenager and see if the teens can interact with it. Let's cancel the adult. And then with a teen selected. Oh, yeah, so the teens can relax like an adult can. Right, what about a toddler? I'm assuming... Let's bring over a toddler and see if a toddler can interact with it. I don't think that they can. Cancel that. Get a toddler. And yeah, no. A toddler. A toddler can't interact with it. So teens and adults can relax. And preteens. Oh, let's see. Yeah, they can play alone or they can play with their mates in the treehouse. It's so cool. I love that it's kind of like pointless 
because it's just a decorative item really that the kids can just play on but it's pretty awesome so there you go guys that is the end of this quest let me know oh my goodness i've just seen that the, there's a flag with a plum bob on the top of it oh that's cute yeah let me know what you're thinking of this quest how you are getting on with it are you going to complete it in time? I hope that you all do manage to complete it in time so that you can win this treehouse. Keep an eye on the channel and on your game actually for the new events that are coming out. Like I said, it'll be around the 30th, depending on your time, then it's the 30th of April or the 1st of May when another live event is going to be coming out for the party items, which is very exciting. We've kind of been shown what items are going to become available to us by doing this quest and I'm very, very excited to get my hands on them. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already for loads more Sims free play content and I will see you soon for a new video. Bye!